I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. The struggle is real with the makeup nurse. Today we are going to do Too Faced Tuesday. So I have some products from Too Faced, not a whole face, but let's go ahead and get started. And I I love how it says, and I'm gonna use the peach palette. I love this palette. Look at those colors. So let's go ahead and get started and let's start with um, peaches in cream. Yeah. So, Too Faced is a good theme. You know, when you, you know, I, since I'm going to work, you know, I, I started thinking, I'm like, you know, work is Too Faced. When you're young, they m make you believe that it's fun. Come to work. You'll make money. It's, and then you can buy stuff. You can buy your car and all that. What they don't tell you is that you're going to have to do it for the rest of your life. That's two-faced. They didn't tell you. Then they say, well, work until, you know, get a 401k and you can retire. What they didn't tell you is they're going to keep raising the retirement age to get that. Two-faced. Just saying. And who knows when I'll get to ever retire. But you know what? I do like my job. And um, so I guess I'm gonna go on with Georgia. You know, I just have to, you know, I'm in California right now. I live in Georgia currently, so it's just fitting for me. No, but I do now. I mean, yes, it's stressful. I'm responsible for an entire hospital without the authority, so that makes it even more stressful, but I still love it. And it, the place I'm working at now, I have a good leadership team that I feel like, even though I don't have the authority to make the changes, whenever I identify issues or um, things that need to be fixed, they're willing to do it. And you think, oh, well, if there's issues and safety issues, wouldn't they uh, fix, allow you to fix it? You'd be surprised. I've had, and at some hospitals that, no, they don't. They make up excuses or they prevent me from doing my job. Candied peach. No. But yeah, you... You'd be surprised. But I really like the place I'm at, the leadership team. They're really fun. And right now I'm uh, mentoring somebody. And I'm he here in California until she gets trained. And then I'll go to my next assignment. Since I'm using the lighter shades, you kind of have to just build it up, but I'm okay with that. And you know what? I forgot I'm on purple. I think I'm going to go back in over the peachy shade that I did, and I'm going to go in with De delectable and put some purple in here. I'm gonna put it over. Cause I'd much rather do this. <coughs> Sorry, I still have a little bit of a cough. Um, and go change my shirt. Even though today, um, the whole administration team is going on a retreat and so there isn't going to be anybody really there at the hospital. I originally was supposed to go but they're like, well you're only here for a few months so I think we'd, be we'd rather you just stay back and work. I'm like, okay, whatever. 
even though this retreat I think I could have been useful um, by having outside our eyes and help but hey I do what they want because you know they're paying me to be there for a few months and I'm sure they're paying my company a, a, a pretty good penny to um, have me so if they prefer me to stay back then that's what I'll do but I can just think that you know I've only been doing assignments since February Sometimes, or, um, I didn't, I guess I didn't really realize that when you take assignments and you're in there, that sometimes you feel excluded, but you know what? Now, I don't know what I, maybe, well, I have a little bit of purple in, um, let's go in with just peachy. I think I'm just ruining my look by... I'll start to ruin it by putting the purple over the peach. But yeah, work is about, not about necessarily. You know, being included or making friends. I mean, it's always nice to make friends, but you're there to do a job, right? And I, I've met a lot of good people doing these assignments. And actually, well, it was an interim work. Um, it was when I tra I worked at um, the corporate um, level for a healthcare system before COVID hit, and then I got let go. But that's where I met my friend Kristen, if you saw that video is I went to one of the hospitals to help out on a project and she was one of the managers there at the time and she was the one that volunteered to work with me. <laughs> yeah, that should have clued her in. <laughs> and But because we worked together, we became good friends and even though she's in San Antonio, we um, are very good friends and even though we don't get to see each other very often. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with this really dark purple shade a little bit and maybe put it on this side just to kind of darken that up a little bit. Just to, since that other purple didn't really show through with the peach. And it's talk derby to me. <laughs> So cute. Okay, I better stop trying to. Actually, I'm gonna go on with Peach Pit and kind of put that over. You know, like I said, if I ruin it, no one's gonna be, I'm not gonna really see too many people today. mirror would be better if they, I get they try to make it look cute or whatever, but it kind of limits the mirror with that on there. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just ruining it. I'm going to go back in with Candy Peach and I'm just going to kind of Put that over. Kind of blend all that in. The top. All right, I went ahead and primed my face. <coughs> Excuse me. And I put some color corrector on. Now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Going This Way Foundation. I was watching a YouTube um, video about this. And I guess there was a lawsuit regarding the Born This Way Um that they were suing another company for trying to use their slogan. Um, I'm not exact, I can't remember all the specifics. Who was the YouTuber that I watched that was talking about it? Um, I think it was 
Gem Love. I don't, um, I'm not, I haven't been big into his, um, I'll, I will, like, the bigger channels. I'll watch them occasionally. The one I always usually watch is Kelly Strack. Um, that's actually who, I, when I started uh, watching makeup channels and stuff, I started watching her. And then Juicy Jazz. So I'll st I still watch them, but I'm just not into the bigger channels right now just because, I don't know, but like, I like the personableness of the smaller channels. Like, I'll go on some of the, uh, I mean, not as small as mine, mine's really small, but um, they're a lot bigger than mine, but they're still considered small. And like, they know, they know me, they'll um, comment back and it just makes it more personable and more like a family and that's what I enjoy so um, yeah okay I went ahead and um, put all my green cream products on and then um, powder my face so now we are set for the Too Faced bronzer <clears throat> that smells like milk chocolate this bronzer is so nice it's blends in nicely. It's my shade. I feel like it, like whenever I get to use it, it's a little powdery. And if it gets in my mouth, I, I can, it's so weird. How does the powder get in my mouth? I'm not even near my mouth. But I'm tasting a little bit of sweetness. Maybe it's all in my head. I don't know. But um, back to what I was saying before, I I prefer the smaller channels, and I'm just having fun. I actually did not start this channel to actually make money. My goal, if um, in previous video, one of my first videos, I talk about my goal for starting this, and it's to raise money for veterans. I want to do something where we can um, do something for their mental health when they come back um, from overseas or wherever they go because I have taken care of so many veterans um, as a nurse and I've seen so much that and I don't think there's enough resources in our healthcare system to help them cope when they come back and you you, it's so sad. Here they fight for our country, but we don't give them the resources. So if I ever make it big, that's what my goal is, is to do something for our veterans. But in the meantime, I'm having fun, and I honestly, other than meeting my goal, and you now if I won the lottery, then I could just do this for fun and stay small. I'd probably, I don't know, I just... All the subscribers that I have right now are so amazing. They're so sweet. And I, I'm loving it. And, um, yeah, if you make it big, you're going to have more of the, that sweetness. But is it harder to stay personable? I hope not. I hope I continue to always be a person, you know, really know all my subscribers. Anyway, that's my goal of, of this channel. I talked about it in one of my first videos, but it, it is a need, a big need. I don't think we put enough resources in the healthcare for our veterans here. They fight for us, and they, who knows what they do overseas or what they have to do for their job, and then they have to come back to, to this life, and that would be hard to cope. I don't know if I could do it. Okay, let's finish our under eyes, and I'm gonna go in with this delectable shade. Purple, just to kind of put a little more purple since I screwed it up and it looks more pe peachy. You're so sweet. I always enjoy reading the comments and looking forward to the comments. That just makes my day. Um, it makes me smile. So thank you for all your sweet comments all the time. Um, and now I'm going to go into the luscious shade and for the top of my brow bone. 
and then I am gonna go off camera and finish my eyebrows and stuff and I'll be back okay I was trying I was putting on this um, I don't know if you can see it this sky high mascara and my eyelash it's like glued together see how it's like all clumped up right in there and I can't get it apart I was trying to take this brush and get it apart but like glued together. I've never had this happen to me before. Now I'm gonna have like a big clump all together and look like I have like I don't know. Oh well. <coughs> <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna finish with this luscious shade and put in the corners of my eyes to make it pop. You know, I don't know if I want it to pop now. I don't want people looking at my eyes. <coughs> with the clumped eyebrow or eyelash whatever all right I've finished everything up all I have to do is put on my Too Faced lipstick and I'm using the um, cinnamon swirl one this is the really the only one I have as far as like this type of matte It's a lip gloss, but it's a matte. And this is only one I have of this. The cinnamon swirl. Ah, it smells so good. So I was watching um, Tati yesterday, last night, um, and she she does do some brands that are like always high end. So it's nice to kind of watch because um, the only time I can afford the high end products is if it comes in my subscriptions. But anyway. She said she was doing Valentine, Valentino makeup, which I've never heard of that brand, but, um, and the primer and the foundation was scented. And I'm like, oh. but I can't buy anything right now, especially with my husband <clears throat> and how to um, commission and everything went on with my husband and then, you know, life's life. But collection and it's supposed to like smell like honey graham. The lipstick or this actually smells more like it than the eyeshadow palette and the bronzer that I got specifically for that. But this is the final look. And you guys, when I went to go like finish getting ready with everything. I almost forgot to hide my toothbrush and today's Tuesday so housekeeping might come and that would not have been cool. I would have had to go out and buy a new toothbrush. <clears throat> so I real quick hid my toothbrush and so we're good to go. Um, let me know if you guys do weird things when you're in a hotel too. Um, comment down below. Anyway, this is the final look. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and hit that little bell with the um, next to it. So notified of future uploads and if you're not new welcome back and thank you for supporting my channel i appreciate every single one of you have a good tuesday bye